Welcome to Markets on Air with a focus on high-tech medicine. Mobile Diagnostics – German medical technology goes global. It's small, light and packed full of high-tech. This device can analyze blood samples and identify infections, all within just a few seconds. The medical analysis scanner was developed for use in remote areas far from the nearest hospital. You just pack it into your car and take it out on location. The power comes from a solar panel, a battery pack or even from your car battery. It's very simple. Partec posts annual sales of 20 million euros. Almost every day shipments go out to places like Myanmar, Ecuador and Nigeria. Senior Managing Director Roland Goethe's idea of bringing high-tech medicine to remote areas captured the attention of one of the world's biggest medical technology companies. Japan's Sysmex Group took over Partec in 2013. Sysmex is one of the world's leading in vitro diagnostics companies. It has the ability to enter certain markets and access customer groups that we didn't have before. The new partner also provides funds for expanding production. Sysmex has invested 8 million euros in the Partec headquarters in Görlitz, when the number of employees is set to double to 200. 268 billion euros. That's how much revenue the German healthcare industry generated in 2013. That's a 4% increase on the previous year. Some 230,000 companies are active in the industry. Medication and medical technology made in Germany is in demand around the world. Exports have risen by nearly two-thirds over the past eight years. Online examinations, telemedicine, a growing field. It's still in the concept phase, but Mosud Karimi is planning to create a software-based internet hospital using a huge database. Patients can measure their blood pressure and pulse at home, entering the data online, where it's automatically evaluated and only sent to a doctor if irregularities are detected. That saves a lot of money. In Germany, cardiovascular illnesses alone create costs of nearly 40 billion euros a year because of frequent doctor visits and expensive medications. An insurance company could say to its customers, OK, if you register at one of these portals and practice better prevention, then we can lower your premiums. That has a huge savings potential for the insurance companies. And for hospitals, says Karimi. The market for telemedicine is enormous. Many hospitals already see the advantages. There's a huge loss of medical information when a patient goes from Dr. A to Dr. B. And the idea is to prevent this loss. By using central data storage, we would no longer have this loss of data and information. The Internet Hospital is still just a vision. But IT specialist Masud Karimi is sure it will someday be a reality. Chinese healthcare workers in Germany. There's a current shortage of some 40,000 staff in Germany's hospitals and nursing homes. And the German labor office expects that number to reach well over 100,000 by the year 2020. That explains efforts to bring more qualified nursing care workers from China and other countries to Germany. Mobile interpreting service for the deaf. Munich-based communications company Verbervoice has developed a sign language app aimed at bringing together deaf people with those who can hear. The company offers online services that translate sign language into phonetic language and vice versa. Fighting epidemics. High security lab on wheels. When these 40 tons get rolling, it could mean an infectious disease is broken out. The biomedical truck costs more than 1 million euros. Once it's parked, it can double its laboratory space. That makes enough room to carry out blood tests and administer vaccinations.
Wir haben als Personal an Bord. We have 12 people on board with expertise in both medicine and laboratory analysis. That allows us to treat some 150 patients within a two-day period. The truck can serve as a mobile laboratory to fight epidemics. For example, researchers can equip the lab for use in Ebola-infected areas. It provides data more rapidly and reliably than local hospitals are capable of providing. If you look at the conditions under which health care is provided in these regions and how diagnosis takes place, then it's clear that we offer a huge advantage. We can simply drive into the region with our standardized and highly secure labs and make a diagnosis right there. The scientists want to build an entire fleet of mobile laboratories to go anywhere epidemics threaten people's lives. And that was Markets on Air with a focus on high-tech medicine.